everyone, I have really impressive news for you. This is a new model which allows you to generate video from text. And you might tell me that we already had such model before, like a Luma AI, Runway and Chinese Kling, but this model is different. Our previous model was closed sourced and you could use it only like a paid service with some restrictions and without ability to fine tune. This model is absolutely open sourced and you can run it on your local PC with just a consumer GPU, what is really, really impressive. We had only one similar model with open weights before. It was stable video diffusion. Unfortunately, this model haven't been updated for a while and not so usable and so impressive. So there are two versions of model, COG Video 2B and 5B. Well, I really hope I spelled the name of this uh, of this model properly because I don't want to sound like a coke lover English teacher. <laughs> but it was not cola, it was coke. Anyway, coke video uh, 2B have been released about a week ago and it wasn't so impressive. To be honest, 5B parameters much better and still could be run on local GPU, consumer level GPU. What also makes this model so special? First of all, it's not so uh, GPU required. For example, for 5B model, you need only 12 gigs of RAM with Diffusers and Tokao, which is very, very reasonable. In case of using just a Diffusers library, it takes about 20 gigs of RAM. And this video we will use just a Diffusers library. In case of, in terms of inference speed, there is specified that single A4 generate a video with length about 6 seconds in uh, 180 seconds. Single H100 take it in a 2 and a half time faster. I have my 3090 Ti version and it takes about 10 minutes to generate video. Uh, also, I tried to generate video with L Tesla L4 and it takes about 12 minutes for 6 seconds video with uh, 50 steps. Also important, this model could be fine-tuned and unfortunately for this you need to have a lot of video memory. But it is not a case because you can also rent GPU for this purpose. Prompt language only English, video length specified 6 seconds. Actually you can make more longer video but most likely they will not be so stable. As for the frame rate, 8 frames per second and video resolution 480p. Not full HD, unfortunately, uh, not vertical resolution, unfortunately, only horizontal resolution. But to my mind it's already very impressive, especially for the first, first iteration of this model. Uh, let's start with cloud usage. For this you should open Lightning AI. If you don't have account or don't know what it is, it's just a mm, really nice alternative of Google Colab, which gives you a GPU for free, partially for free. It's about 20 hours per month and this is a really nice service which I truly and fully recommend to you. What we need to do, just uh, create new studio and then you need to uh, download my notebook which is available for free on my Patreon. But if you want to support my channel and what I'm doing, you're welcome to do so. And also uh, in a Patreon you can find a lot of different notebooks for Automatic 11.11, for Flux and other AI stuff. You're welcome to use them. So first step, press this button here, I need to upload new file. This should be my notebook untitled, I probably gives it a proper name. So first of all we need to uh, install all needed requirements, press this cell and press this button here. Next it will be model import, but important information that after first step the IDE will be restarted and it's absolutely okay. Here we should choose a GPU instance and here choose L4 GPU which much more powerful than traditional Tesla T4. Switch to GPU. Okay, uh, now we should uh, import model. Choose this cell and press the button here. Sometimes for some reason it doesn't work. So in this case just press it several times. Okay, we imported the model. And how to generate video? Let's hide this stuff. Okay, uh, here you should specify your prompt in a prompt variable. In this parameter video in a pipeline you should 
adjust the settings. There are plenty of settings like uh, or num inference steps, number of steps, and number of frames. You can freely experiment with this parameter. Let's uh, let's use the standard one. To run this cell, as usual, choose the cell and press run button. After 15 minutes of waiting, we've got our result. And it looks not so bad, I suppose. Especially for free open source model. But there is a problem. There always will be a problem, and this is amount of frame per second. Only 8 FPS is not sufficient for good result, but we can easily solve it by using almost any modern editing software. I would recommend DaVinci Resolve and show you how to use DaVinci Resolve for frame interpolation. I'm using a studio version, which is not free, but uh, I'm almost sure that free version of DaVinci Resolve also has this feature. Let me show you how to use frame interpolation. For this, um, create a timeline. And here you should uncheck user use project settings. In a format, you could choose a uh, timeline frame rate. Uh, let it be, for example, 60. Okay, so let's add the video. I generated a short video of this cat playing a guitar. And as you can see, there is no too much information between frames and looks not so stable. But let's fix it. Add this video to the timeline, then choose this video, and here in an in a inspector uh, you should choose uh, read time and scaling. Read time process, I recommend optical flow, and motion estimation should be speed warp. It's a very uh, GPU consuming feature, and most likely it won't work in real time. So let's export this video fragment. Uh, choose the beginning, then uh, press I button for in and out O button here. And now let's export, uh, let it be test one. Well, this video is just uh, two seconds long, but the processing takes about 30 seconds. Quite a lot. Well, surprisingly, it took even more. Two minutes and 22 seconds for a two seconds video. Well, let's add this video here. Well, now you can see the result. To my mind, this looks really, really nice. Much better than the, the previous one. And here let's uh, turn off scaling and how it was and how it now. We can even make it uh, much longer because we have too much information here. And let's change clip speed to 40%. The video will be about 24 frames per second and with a length about 5 seconds. And here we go. Looks really nice.